Okay, this video is just to show you how to use the keystrokes of this, this specific Texas Instrument calculator, but many calculators are similar. So if there's a PRB button on any calculator, that's probably the button you're gonna uh, depress if you wanna do a permutation, combination, or factorial. So the first thing I'm gonna address is a factorial. So, a factorial you'll see is an exclamation. So if you have on a test, if you see evaluate five exclamation points, here are the keystrokes. You depress five, then you hit the PRB button. And when that comes up, when the PRB button comes up, you're going to see this. So you arrow over arrow over again and hit enter and then hit enter again and it's going to give you the answer of 120 and if you were to do it manually this is what five exclamation point means it means five times four times three times two times one and that does indeed equal 120. if you've got a word problem so i'm going to shift now and i'm going to talk about permutation and combination If you've got a word problem and they're talking to you about a permutation or combination and they'll tell you that they'll give you two numbers, usually they're going to mention that as you read left to right. So in the story problem, in a, if it mentions permutation and it mentions, say, the number three first and maybe the number seven second, it's going to look... That's what it would be talking about. So this is what you enter. You, you hit three, PRB, and for permutation, it's already there. So you hit enter. Then you type seven and hit enter again. And then that would give you your answer. And I have not typed that in, so let me type that in now. Three PRB enter seven enter. That gave me a zero. So let me try it the reverse. Seven PRB and then three. Yeah. So that makes sense. This number probably needs to be bigger than this number. So I guess that's silly. And when you type it in just like this, so this value right here is equal to 210. And anyway, so if it talked about a combination, you would just arrow over. So if it said talk about a combination and the, they gave the same numbers, you would type in 7, the PRB button. Then you would arrow over until you saw the this symbol. You would hit enter and then you would depress three and then hit enter again. So let me do that. So seven PRB and then I'm going to arrow over to one time for the combination button, type three, enter. And for this, we get 35. Okay, that is how to use the calculator uh if you're given a permutation combination or factorial